Stoughton High School, the scene of Tuesday night's Badger South Conference showdown between the Stoughton Vikings and the Monroe Cheesemakers. Stoughton comes into the night one game behind Monona Grove in the Badger South standings, needing a win to keep pace with the Silver Eagles. We pick up the action in the second quarter, and it's a double dose of Nick McGlynn as the junior forward gets Stoughton started. Here River Hoagland feeds Bradley Grafen off the break, and it's 21-17 Stoughton at the half. Charlie Kine gets the cheesemakers all revved up, knocking down a pair of three-point baskets as Monroe takes the lead. Here Alex Hendrickson scores on a drive to the basket for Monroe. But then the teams trade three-pointers. Here River Hoagland drains a three off the feed from the glim. And then Alex Hendrickson dishes to Jake Hirschbrunner, who hits the three for Monroe. Down 34-30, Troy Slaby hits the first of two three-pointers for Stoughton. But the big one comes from the big guy, and Nick McGlynn gives Stoughton the lead for good. At three at the end, you know, uh, I've been working on it so hard. Uh, my shot in the offseason, working on it uh, in season. Uh, you know, just... And when I when I got it on the part, I just no hesit no hesitation. That's what I've been working on. You know, don't even think about it. Just shoot it. Nick is, is that, a, a guy that's worked um, as hard, if not harder, than any player that's ever been in our program. Uh, by no means does he have the red light on that. Um, you know, I don't know if it's the shot I would prefer, but I'm not going to tell him not to shoot it. He's worked as hard as any player to to take that look and. Um, the fact that it went down makes it that much sweeter. And Monroe gets a number of good looks down the stretch, but can't convert on any of them. And Stoughton gets it done at the foul line as Slavy and McGlynn combine to go six for six on free throws over the final couple minutes. Our intensity wore on him a little bit, and some of those shots didn't drop in that fourth quarter. And then, you know, in the same breath, we were able to, you know, run our sets and execute at a high level offensively in that fourth quarter. And we we're ultimately able to salt away the win at the free throw line. Um, uh, but again, credit to Monroe and their coaching staff. That, uh, amidst some struggles early, they came out and found a way early in that second half. And, we were fortunate enough to make enough plays. Yeah, I mean, make. we track all of their box scores, and he's made probably three of them all year. So, I mean, he's obviously he's capable of doing it. He doesn't have to. So I thought McGlynn got going a little bit when he made his inside shots, one foot from the basket. So we talked about taking those away a little better. And like I said, he's talented enough where he, he can stretch it out there. And, you know, they got guys that can make free throws. And that's kind of the way we used to like to close out games too is get to the free throw line and, this year we've had to scramble from behind more than we like, and uh, you know again it's a four-quarter game for a reason, and we have to continue to, as coaches, to find ways to put guys in position to make plays. And you know obviously I wish I could shoot a few for them, but I can't. But that's probably a good thing now at my age. But I mean, our guys just got to keep battling. I mean we're looking forward to the next one, and you know you just hope that the light clicks before it's too late. I guess.